DHG here. This is Silent Hill 2, part of Halloween Horror 2024. This is the finale. Can't think of a better game to end this season off with. I was considering holding off and seeing what the remake was going to be like, but I've seen enough from what's been released already. They ruined it. And I am in the... Silent Hill Historical Society now. I remember bits and pieces about this game. I remember all the, like a lot of the biggest details. In this area is where things start to get really interesting. As I've been doing with the previous playthroughs, I try to fully investigate one area, hospital, apartments, a uh, section of the street, whatever, before moving on to the next. So I'm going to be going through the Silent Hills Historical Society here and then cutting it off whenever the next checkpoint happens. It just went right back outside. Oh, okay, that's because I took the wrong door. Well, someone broke into here. Lock is broken. How Silent Hill like? What do we got over here? Is that a map? Nothing of particular interest inside the case. Why was he starting to crowd? Oh, yeah, aim ready. Oh, what do we got here? Nice painting of Pyramid Head with that gigantic sword although at the angle that it is right there it kind of looks like a pike and there's a water tower there yeah i re like i said it's been a couple years since i played through this but i do remember that this area has a significant pyramid head event Looks like a picture of a butterfly on the bottom. There's supposed to be some sort of a symbolism with the butterfly and Maria and Mary. Except I never really picked up on it. What's this say? There's nothing useful written on them. Well then. The Dark Descent. I haven't played through that one yet, not for Halloween Horror. One of these years I'm going to do Amnesia Dark Descent. I think I've done all the other Amnesia titles at this point. Oh man, that's a really, really long staircase. Or, I think those are stairs. PS2 graphics, who can tell? A door. What do you got there, James? Some kind of document is lying here. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C-221. I can't read the rest. What is this? Okay, it looks like he's looking at something else. Oh, there it is. First aid kit. Anything over here I can interact with? No, the chair's in the way. James can't move a chair. He's not that strong. What the hell is this supposed to be? Old piece of equipment or something? A ballot box. They took votes here. That's where all the fraudulent votes go. For later usage. 
Oh god, I can't remember how to attack. It's been too long. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, it's been probably a couple of weeks since I played this last. You just hit fire, she doesn't even bother aiming. Do I have a map? I don't have a map of this area. Okay, I guess that's a no. What are you looking at, James? What do you got over here? Handgun bullets. I think the handgun's actually better than the shotgun. A photo is hanging here. Toluca Prison Camp. Built during the Civil War, later became Toluca Prison. A photo is hanging here. Death by skewering. Now this is starting to sound like amnesia. The Dark Descent. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Oh, that's morbid. A painting is hanging here. Crimson and the White Banquet for the Gods. Yeah. Definitely pagan. I keep forgetting. Manual reload. Do it in the middle of battle. It's not a good thing. What are you doing? I thought I killed you all. It's weird. It almost looks like a door that drops off about six feet. Yeah. yeah you want to jump down this uh, dark, possibly, possibly bottomless hole? The hole's dark and I can't see anything. Will you jump down? Sure! What could go wrong? Could be 10 feet deep. Could be 100. It could lead you to another dimension. The hole in the floor. It's an alternate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Are you getting a drink there? Mine got. How am I supposed to get out of this shithole? It's just a wall. It would be impossible to climb this. Well, then why did you jump down? Because I didn't have another option. If anything sticks out. This look a little different from the rest. Let's look at my inventory here. Yeah, I know the steel pipe seems like a good idea, but I don't think it's going to do anything here. Ancient looking goblet carved from pure obsidian. How would you carve obsidian? Isn't that stuff supposed to be extremely hard? But then again, you can... I don't think they carve diamonds. I think they laser cut them. I'm not sure on that, though. Might as well, uh, take a few swings here, see what happens. Oh, he pokes. Alright, I found it after humping the wall for I don't know how many minutes. Just a wall. Huh, this is different. Just this spot here feels different than the normal wall. I wonder if I could somehow break it. 
Well, James, why don't you bust out that steel pipe? Or how about the wooden plank? Let's try that. Nope. Nope. Oh, it did work. Wooden plank for the... Okay, I wasn't expecting it to make that big of a hole. Thought it would knock a few bricks loose or something, but damn. That ain't no normal wooden plank. Oh, that's one of those spitters. Screw those things. Come here, you. Got some 12 gauge buckshot for you. All right, back to screwing around. Okay, came from that door. Anything over here to look at? Nope. Just a bunch of bars. If this was Silent Hill Downpour, you could say it was just his time in prison. Not some of these areas are claustrophobic. Ah, oh, nice, uh, comfy room here. I don't know if that's blood or something else. Spiral writing key. And my flashlight just went out. That's just wunderbar. And it's not turning back on. When I press the switch, I press the switch, nothing happens. No shit. Where's that key? It says, "'Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory, the place between heaven and hell." It's a key with a slim three-inch long cylindric cylinder attached. It's locked. Oh, I remember. Yeah, let's get back in the inventory here. Dry cell battery. Oh, what the hell, cockroaches? Get me out of here. It's locked. Oh, shit. Am I supposed to kill these things? I'm not using a shotgun to do that. Give me my wooden plank. Cockroaches go I gotta kill. These are some of the world's largest cockroaches. Where am I at? New York? Oh, okay. There we go. Number of keypad looks like okay, three digits. There we go. Last one I could have possibly tried. All right, that room sucked. There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. Oh, there's doors up a. Oh, this room is extremely warped. I go in this way or no? Stop moving. Oh, you. Squirm, you little bugger.
Okay, I came from that direction. Well, nothing else down here. I guess I'm going to go back this way. I'm in here again. Where was that room that was kind of in between these two? Or am I thinking of somewhere else? Alright, this might be where I use that key. Which one's the door? Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought the door was on the other side. Okay. It's pitch back black beyond the door. You can't tell how far the blackness stretches. Will you go down? Yeah! I think he runs into Eddie here. Yep. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Big revolver. You killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! I'm fairly certain the guy that's voicing James Sunderland is the same dude that voices Otacon in Metal Gear Solid. It's weird to think it's the same person. Oh, there's a save point. Oh wait, no, it's not a save point. It's a tablet of a gluttonous pig. I wonder if they're referring to anyone. Here's a save point. Eh, over at the hotel lobby. Since that video turned out fine. Don't need to re-record it. It's a corpse. The body is marked with bullet holes.
Yep. Come back later. Looks like someone's laying on this table. Ingun bullets, I was correct. There are documents on the desk. They've got nothing to do with me, though. Wasn't sure if there was something there or not. I hope this is a map. It is good. A map of the prison. Quite far underground, too. Unless it's not really underground, because he did jump into all those, I'm guessing, dimensional holes. It's locked. Later on the other side of this. Can't remember what they call those things. Talk rooms. Visiting room. Oh, didn't see that one behind me. I got a lighter. Look at the map here. I don't believe that you can get into every single one of those doors. You never can. But still, I'm going to check every single one. you looking at? Oh, I see. Health drink. Still something over here. Ampule. Looks like I got a hunting rifle. And some more rifle shells. There's some more stuff lying around here. There's a bunch of shit in this room. That would be all of it. Let's see, what kind of rifle does it look like? Just any old rifle. Man, it's got a long barrel. Only holds four rounds, that's kind of common.
room was that? A little discombobulated right now. I think it was here? No. Wait, what's this on the floor? There's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left where there was probably once a handle. I don't have anything like that yet. Oh yeah, that's right, I went through here. I didn't see this other room right here. Oh, it's locked anyway, never mind. Just a regular old bathroom. Oh, safe point. That's why it's here. You knock on the door, but there's no answer. I thought there was going to be an answer getting closer back to the door. Got a tablet of the seductress, Maria. Just a comfy looking jail cell. Why did the old Silent Hill games have so many doors that you could not open? Aesthetics. Wouldn't look very convincing if they had like two doors on each wall. Oh, that one's open. Bunch of something in here. I got a wax doll. Doll car from wax. It was lying in the cell. Kind of looks like a rabbit. Like a demon rabbit. Oh, okay, I know what to use that for. That's later on. I don't have the other item yet. 
Wait, what's that say? Books are scattered all over the bed and floor. Black magic from the abyss. Resurrection of the dead. Okay. Getting into the occult here. Okay, down at this end of the hallway. Your door, can I get through it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I just came out of that one. Can't tell, is that a door? Yeah. Uh, nope, not right now. Ain't gun bullets. Oh no, rifle shells. Save all them till the end of the game. Handgun rounds do I have now? 153. Shotgun shells? 98. Yeah, I'm loaded up on ammo. They put uh, quite a bit of ammo in this game, if you care to search. I always look everywhere that I can. First time playing through this game, though, I didn't, and I almost ran out of ammo in the last boss fight. Now it's unlocked. Can't open it. I guess I gotta go into the big dark room now. If I can find it. I think this is it. Where is this place? Looks like a big courtyard. It kind of, uh, whoops, wrong button. Kind of stinks of a boss fight. Don't know if there is one here. Oh, wait, no, here we got the gallows. Sometimes I think we should reintroduce those for modern politicians found guilty at trial. Not sham trials either. Would certainly help revive integrity. Now oh, we got three positions for three tablets for the three cents. Okay, it looks like you got pyramid head on both sides and someone in the middle. I guess I'll see if I could just put one of these tablets in. I don't know if they have to be in certain spots or not. Apparently not. The game just puts it in the right spot automatically. 
Maybe on a harder difficulty, you have to guess some type of a riddle. The Seductress. Is that a picture of... Yeah, it looks like a lady sitting there with her legs spread open. I mean, it doesn't get more on the nose than that. Dumbass, you fell right off. Sorry, this is the tank controls. There are three ropes hanging from the scaffold. I thought this was a courtyard, but this is now a walled-in room. Gotta find that last tablet. I guess maybe I could try going into each of these cells, see if there's any I could get into. Starting up here. Where's that door? Oh, I can enter them. Okay. Looks like an opera or something. 436 people at a recital. I guess I'm going to have to remember that at some point. And it looks like the house that the recital's in is burning down. Burning man. Here's the last one, the oppressor. It's tightly closed, you can't force it open. Well, well, well. I guess I'm stuck in here like the prisoner. That looks like a badge sitting there. a shot. Yeah, I didn't think so. Wait, what the hell? Um, yeah, I don't know what happened right there. It wouldn't let me out, then it did let me out. Could probably go back to where the, uh, tablets were. Judge, jury, and execution are right here. That uh, sounds like someone just got lynched. But where? He fell. Sound was made, but I'm not exactly sure what it indicated. 
it wasn't there before. I got a horseshoe. Okay, I know what know what to do with that. Not yet. I could go up top there, over and over to the circle. Consult the map. Oh. Wait a minute, there's a door I missed in here. Oh, this was that room with that... Okay. Not going back out that way. Not that one. Making sure I'm standing directly over it. Make a nice little handle. Something tells me in real life that wouldn't be all that firm. I mean, wax isn't that strong of an adhesive, but whatever. Jump down another dark dimensional hole. For a second, I thought that said Biff. Basement. First floor. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's not locked. Oh, the morgue. All right. Nice scenery. I'm down another dark, dank hole. There is a hole in the floor. I can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? Will you go down? Yeah! Kind of makes me wonder if this is some sort of a metaphor for the circles of hell. He just keeps going deeper. I think we're in hell world now. Another dark, dank hole. Another hole. Do I really have to drop through it? Will you go down? Yeah! How many did he go down already? About five? I never read Dante's Inferno. It's on my list, but... 
I'm pretty sure each circle of hell represented something. I have the game, but I'm not going to play through the game for my channel until I read the book. What we got over here? What are you looking at? I think he's looking at the elevator. No, no caption, nothing. You're just, you're somewhere. Lock is broken. Medkit, that's what he was looking at. And... Rifle shells. And... Handgun bullets. And... Shotgun shells. Tells me there's a fight coming up. There's a fight. Then I'm gonna get the pistol out. Got more range. That is one really, really exaggerated elevator ride. I mean, we're not quite into Metal Gear Solid 3, Hideo Kojima's infamous ladder yet, but... Getting there. It would be a good idea to save here. That's another remake I'm not really looking forward to. Normally I'd be overly joyed to see a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, but with all the woke shit that they're doing nowadays, and Konami being one of the publishers that's all about modern audiences, let's just say there was a lot in Metal Gear Solid 3 just like Silent Hill 2 that could be DEI'd out. Reload, James. Tactical reload. Alright, shotgun back out. No boss fight yet. What the hell is this? Just a bunch of wires. Alright, that's weird. Do I have a map? Kind of, it looks like James is stenciling his own map. Better than guessing. There's a ladder there. There's a ladder there. Alright. What the hell? What's over here? More ladders. Good god. the hell is this thing? Yeah, just play around with it, James. Poke it a few times. Red, blue, purple, green. Yeah, not quite sure about that thing. Oh, it must be this room. 
Okay. Gonna need to do a few more rotations before I wrap my head around that. Now it's gone. Wrong thing. No wonder. Did I miss anything back here? I only went through one ladder and found that weird ass room. Watch where you're going. Oh, you spat on me. I don't want your acidic discharge. What was down here? Okay. One of those demons from Silent Hill 3 on the bottom of this thing. Oh, this doesn't look foreboding at all. There's Pyramid Head Sword. What is it doing here? I got a great knife. Looks like this is a room where he had some fun. Oh shit, it's Pyramid Head. Okay, yeah, not not messing around with him. Can't kill him. Yeah, he poked me though, he didn't have his sword. I just I guess I just took his weapon. I don't think he's gonna be too happy about that. Where's that big weapon of his? A great knife. Massive weapon wielded by pyramid head. Hard to use, but lethal. Yeah, let's try to swing this thing once. See what it does. It's like a gigantic buster sword from Final Fantasy VII. I could just imagine the stress that puts on your hips trying to wield that thing. Now pyramid head's gotta poke me. Wait, I went down, okay, that takes you to the same place. That ladder goes there. To that other room. With a weird Rubik's Cube type thing. What's up here? A dead end, all right then. Now, up there is the room with wires. And I don't think that Pyramid Head sword is going to solve that sol or solve that problem. I thought there was another enemy in here, but... Alright, this room again. Did I leave it on that, or did that reset? Alright, so the correct solution turned out to be the orangish yellow dude upside down.
Maria, but wasn't she dead? Didn't she die at the end of the last episode? Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and James, then... James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm gonna jump right on that. Where am I? Apparently, oh yeah, the wire door. I don't believe I picked up anything. Maybe that giant knife works. Um, what the hell is that sound? No, 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 no. Go back up there, James. You missed something. Yeah, looks like someone tried to sabotage that. Wire cutter. There we go. I was going to say, normally you don't use weapons to solve puzzles in games like this. No, it was up here. Okay. I'm going to want to save it first because I do believe that I'm not positive about this. Pyramid Head gives me a chase. Let me reload my shotgun. Let's use these wire cutters, yeah? Snip, snip, snip. Rather use the 
First aid kit's last. I'm willing to bet that water he's waiting around in smells real good. I hope it ain't Pyramid Head that's down here. No, it's just them. Alright. Oh shit, reload. Big old area with nothing in it right there. I did not miss those shells. I wanted to get rid of these dudes. And gun bullets. I'm pretty sure there was something back there along the way that I missed in one of these, but whatever. Oh, no, it, there he is. Got his pointy spear. He's going to poke me to death.
save point, yes. Is this the room that Maria's in? Let's see here. Oh no, this is Angela. This is probably, this is the thing that I think is going to get the most censored in the Silent Hill remake, what you're going to see right here. Look at all the things on the walls, representing going in and out. The uh, sexual abuse father. I tried to heal, but... Get off of me. Rapey son of a bitch. Are you okay? And of course, she's seeing something completely different than James. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Ugh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick. The walls also look like flesh. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. That's ridiculous. I never. I think you could appropriately call this place the Rape Room. What a nice name. I can imagine that's going to be extremely heavily edited in the uh, in the remake. Move my mic a little bit. There we go. That is, if they even keep that portion in it at all. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. These things are really weird. I don't remember exactly what the deal is with each of these, though. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. 
This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of murder. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. He was a snake oil salesman. Or maybe a pharmaceutical executive. Justice, re justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Pirate crime. Justice and revenge have been served. There's some sort of a puzzle that you interact with here. Shortly. Making sure I'm going to... Okay, yeah, the rape room's down that way. Okay, this way. Oh, yeah, you have to pull them in here. Okay. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan. Served him to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweets, store pulled ch poor children off the streets. Two men he dressed, or two men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Fun fact, there's more of that going on right now in our current time than ever in history. Breaking into a home at night, the thief... He had a nasty fright, filled with full, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain, he was undone. When the ink he he used did start to run. Weird way of wording that. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, slipped quietly into the night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men swinging in the tree, how many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide, Round their necks the noose be tied. Alright, so you gotta go in order and you gotta remember what order they're in. Alright. I don't know if you have to hit each individual one or not. I would guess so. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Handcuffs. Maria's probably like, yeah, you're going to want to use these on me. Let's go back here. Take a look at the order. See if I could come up with some sort of an acronym or something to remember this by. They're lined up. I'm pretty sure this would be considered the first. Kidnapping, K, T, um, yeah, let me get a pen and write this down, right on the back of my hand. Free counterfeiting, 
not exactly sure where four would be. If it would start down here, I'm guessing so. Four arson. Five, the swindler. What was that guy's name in Red Dead Redemption 2? He was always swindling everybody. Six. Murder! Okay, now that that's written down on the back of my hand, I ain't gonna remember that shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I went around. Wait, what does that say? No, I did not want to go back into the rape room. What's it say about the newspapers? Newspapers are scattered all over the walls and floor. There seems to be nothing of interest. But this one has today's date. That's kind of strange. All right, is this one with ropes? Yeah, it is, okay. Okay, let me write this down again. Number one. Murderer. Kidnapper, number two. Three would be the thief. Four would be the counterfeiter. Five, burglar. The hamburglar. Um... Let's see, for killer? Oh, thief. Okay, that's what they called it. Thief. And the last one, arsonist. Six. The arsonist. Okay, so that was swindling. Alright, that's the one I was screwing up. I kind of thought that if you pulled the right one, then moved on to the next one, then each rope that was pulled in the right order would just stay down, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe you just have to pull them. Kidnapping. Of course, there also could be a chance that these are mirrored. Theft, number two. Counterfeiting is the third slot. Freaking me out, you wear a mask, you're counterfeit. Five, Swindler. Which one was this uh, Swindler? He was right over here. The last one was the Asshole. I mean, Arsonist. Okay, let's see if this works. I didn't hear anything. Let's see what's going on in this other room. Oh, there we go. The 
key of the persecuted. Okay, so I did do it right. See, because I don't know why I was thinking this, but I kind of thought that maybe it was mirrored and that the ones on this side were on this side in the other room. I remember one of the puzzles in one of the Silent Hill games being like that. Couldn't remember if it was this one or not. Oh yeah, gonna want to reload that shit. Use the key of the persecuted on those some bitches. Left by a prisoner who was wrongly executed. Oh boy, that never happens. Actually, I heard the numbers as high as 5%. In all likelihood, probably 10. So I'm for the death penalty, but you have to be extra judicious when it comes to uh, making sure you got the right guy. But people are people, people are lazy, people take shortcuts. With something as serious as the death penalty, I'm all for it. But you gotta make sure you got the right guy. And unfortunately, with the way... uh. Certain agencies do their business. I'm not entirely sure that you can be 100% sure anymore. And she's dead again. Maria, no. What happened to you? Why? Why? James's guilt manifesting everywhere it possibly can. I think here she took her own life. Or maybe not. Yeah, they don't appear to be self-afflicted wounds right there. Mary. James just solemnly walks, haunted by his failure, his guilt. I think I went the wrong way. First aid kit. Well, Mar uh, Maria could have used that. Uh, here we go. Graveyard. Perfect place for James's guilt. The name on the tombstone is too scratched up to read. Just some gun bullets, handgun bullets, you no know, shotgun shells laying by a tombstone. There's a name inscribed on the tombstone, Walter Sullivan. If I remember correctly from a couple videos ago, he was the guy that ended up killing a bunch of his neighbors or something. He plays a somewhat big role in Silent Hill 4. 
there's a name inscribed on the tombstone. Eddie Dombrowski. That's a fat kid. There's a name. Angela Orozco. That's, of course, Angela. We got an ampule. There's a name. James Sunderland. All three of these graves. People still alive nominally. Kind of a foreshadowing that they're not going to be sometime soon here. Their death is imminent. Save it. Certainly. What's this sticking out of the ground right here? Doesn't really look like anything. What's this one say, if anything? All right, James, want to go into your own grave? Another long staircase and hallway. What the hell is that doing there? It's like fog coming out of the walls. Steam, maybe. Oh, what a bloody mess. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, this is the Eddie boss fight. Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me... And now you got your stereotypical school shooter. Nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. <laughs> He's just smacking me. Okay, we got the bully kid that just decided to snap and kill everyone. Considering the time frame which just came out, I think it was around 2001. Here in the United States, mass sh mass shootings at schools hadn't really started yet. I mean, they happened. Columbine happened in the 1990s, but it was kind of like a one-off. And then they just accelerated at an accelerating pace to what we have now. It makes me think that they're... 
You know, it, w it was weird. See, I have, I'm highly suspicious about this entire subject just because the school shooters are all lone, lone wolves. You know, never look into a lone wolf. You know, there's no conspiracy behind him. It's just a lone wolf. You can't look at associates or anything like that. But with Columbine, there was two shooters, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. You can actually look at a conspiracy, like who are they talking to, stuff like that. But with a lone shooter, that's usually dismissed. You can't put it into a RICO category. And it's just kind of curious to me how they want to ban all the guns here in the United States, especially the AR-15. Even if they don't use an AR-15 during the school shooting, like the Nashville shooter, the trans one, the tranny. Even if you do what um, he did, they had a kel Sub-2000, I think it was called. It's basically like a 9mm rifle. It's not an AR-style weapon whatsoever. It's just its own design. But they say AR-style in the news because they want to keep pounding that message to ban AR-15s. And from there, that's... If they bring the AR-15 down, if they ban that, all the other guns are coming with it. And then the Second Amendment's going to be gone. Then that's when the government can impose mass tyranny. So it makes me curious about all these school shooters, how they're just popping up all of a sudden. It wouldn't, I really wouldn't put it past certain agencies to uh, push these events to happen or guide them, let's just say. It's always lone, sh lone shooters, lone wolves. Don't look in a conspiracy. Don't look at who their associates were. Even the, uh, the guy that killed, uh, tried to kill Trump a couple months ago. No social media, really. Wiped out. Ain't that funny. We've all got huge social media footprints. But him? No, none. His associates? Unknown. You smell bullshit? I do. Back to Silent Hill 2. End of rant. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life? That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> That's pure evil. Think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! He was trying to tell James right there that, you know, you think you're running around shooting monsters, but are you? What if they aren't monsters? Oh, he is busting me up. Is he hiding? Yeah, he is. He's taking cover behind the carcass. Curious to know what kind of gun he's using. I'm guessing 44 Magnum. It kind of looks like a Ruger Blackhawk. They have a very, very unique look to them. I'm 
personally not into the look. I would rather have a, something made by Smith & Wesson, but that's just me. Stop hiding. Oh god, I'm shot him right in the back. Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... human being. James, I think you've killed quite a few of them during this playthrough. A human being. Yeah, that gun Eddie was holding, I just looked up the picture to confirm it. That's a Ruger Blackhawk. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? What it was chambered in, who knows, but it was a Ruger Blackhawk. 357 mag, 44, I'm not sure what all comes in, but usually these types of revolvers have numerous calibers. What? He's looking down. Can I pick up the revolver? I don't think that's a weapon in this game. outside where am I oh I'm at the boat launch okay so I guess I'm gonna be going over to the hotel now let me look around here before I save the game what's down this way I understand that when they made the ps3 remat or yeah the remaster the Silent Hill collection as it's called that Silent Hill 3 looked alright, but Silent Hill 2 was all sorts of screwed up. Like these, uh, what you would call translucent textures that this fog is, doesn't render properly on PlayStation 3. I remember reading one of the original developers, studio named Team Silent, they were saying, well, the reason why that happened was most likely because the PlayStation 3 is not very good at rendering translucent textures, but the PlayStation 2 was very good at it. The end result was in the unpatched version of the Silent Hill collection, you would look out in a place like this, or it was very noticeable at the beginning of the game when you first walk up to the dock, you know, where the car's parked, and you would just see, like, sections of the game that were completely blacked out, missing, because the fog wasn't rendering properly. But, alright, that's where this one ends. That was the Silent Hill Historical Society. Quite a trip.